So we should probably let you know what the plan is. Bristol Dana Channel Cutter, 28, North Flicka 20, and the Falmouth Cutter. Last time on Abandoned Comfort. We're getting a new Lucy. We're already under contract on the boat. We're leaving this boat. She's been really, really good to us. All right, time to say goodbye to her. Bye, right, Lucy. Looking at one of those tomorrow. We are here in our cabin for the night. Rude, what do you think? What do you think, Mario? I think you like it. You look a little happy. Hey, sit. That's not sitting. <laughs> it's a pretty cool little Airbnb. It's like someone's shed in their backyard and they charge like 35 bucks a night. Yep. They take pictures of all their guests. Yeah, so we're gonna be on this. A little creepy, a little creepy but. Yeah. I mean, we did something similar when we were Airbnb hosts. We take pictures of people. We asked people what they wanted to do before they died. Right, but then it's a little bit more morbid. There's just pictures picture. of us and on just, a wall now. And just pictures. <laughs> so if you ever come to this Airbnb and you see a picture of us, you know which one we were at. <laughs> That'd be pretty easy to find. Anytime you're traveling through, like I would say, like virtually anywhere. In the United States, just look for the cheapest Airbnb. We've probably stayed at it. All right, so we're gonna spend the evening doing some more research on pirate ships. Encapsulation cures. The rough in interior begin. Launch it and go for sea trials. God bless her and all be safe. Oh, oh, oh. When the boat goes into the water, is that sign? Uh, at least I didn't hit the Bob's day. <laughs> Oh! We don't have Bob's Day. <laughs> yeah, Lucy didn't have a Bob's Day. That's bad. All through whole sea cocks must be inspected. There she is. And it is downpouring. Just like the last time we bought a boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the best time to check out a boat. Alright, it's raining so hard now that we just decided to pull right up next to her. All in her trailer. Blue water trailer boat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, hopefully this rain dies down a little bit and we can get up in her. This is how you look at boats. You kick the broker out, or the owner, and you tear it apart. This is also how you do boat projects. Yeah. Even on our size boat. Tear everything up, kick the other person out. <laughs> you get shit done. Light off. Right here. Down there. Smells like an old stinky diesel engine. 1981 BMW. <laughs> this doesn't matter because we'd be getting rid of it. Heading back. What do we think? I like it. It's really different and it's kind of cool. And there's a ton of storage space for 22 feet, like a ton of storage. Put a gun to your head right now, you gotta buy one or the other. <laughs> Which one do you buy? It's, it's tricky, because the Flicka is like, it's good. Like it's, everything that we want is kind of there. Except for kind of the layout of it in a way. Like storage, you're figuring that stuff out. The Falmouth, it has a lot of things that we would, still need to update and a lot of projects that we would still want to do. Yeah, Falmouth isn't as ready to go as the other one is, but fundamentally things that you can't change about the boat. Yeah. If you just had to get like the boat as is, there's nothing that's been done to it, which one would you pick? Probably the Falmouth. Like no owner modifications or anything, it's like straight from the yard. Yeah. Okay. So 
I've, I've, that cutter's got me. <laughs> it would be really nice to have a cutter. All right, we're gonna put this down on paper. I'll give you guys a glimpse into what we do for buying boats and stuff. If you are part of the AC crew, you already have access to this. It's underneath the AC crew only page, and it is in the bottom right, I believe, of the page. That's so where like our refit cost was for Lucy, and then also just the criteria that we line up against other boats, so that way we're comparing them on like a one-to-one -one basis. So I'll give you guys a glimpse of that. Essentially, once we got everything down on paper and talked it over more, we realized that the Falmouth is undoubtedly the right boat for us. The Falmouth's seaworthiness ratios, like capsize ratio and motion to comfort ratio, are much better than the Flicka, and they're actually even better than our HR 352s were. And all that means is that size doesn't always equate to seaworthiness. So the problem with this particular Falmouth was its list price, which was $59,000. Unfortunately, that is the going rate for these types of boats because they're extremely well built and they're very rare. But that didn't derail us because these are depreciable assets after all. So what we did is we compiled a list of all 40 Falmouth cutters still in existence and sent out cold emails to every owner that we could find info for. Before I can tell you more about what we found, we have to head back to Uncle Scott's to load our life back into the Prius. All fits in the Prius. I think we'll be okay going to a smaller boat. I guess we'll see. All right, time to hit the road. This is definitely the most packed that we have ever been. There's the pen map. There's the sheep dog. He was the driver. So for the last few months, We've been trying to figure out what kind of boat we wanted to potentially downsize to. That was blue water capable. We finally found the boat. And the majority of them are actually made on the west coast of the US. So Ryan <laughs> searched for all potential owners. So he reached out to a ton of them and asked if they were interested in selling. Turns out, one individual is an hour away from Ryan's hometown, and he was considering selling his boat. So, Ryan's dad ended up going checking out the boat for us, and he said it was absolutely incredible. One of the most beautiful boats that he's ever seen, and gave us the green light. Well, we weren't expecting that at all. So we were out of cellular range, came back, I had a voicemail from my dad, and it's him just like going crazy over this boat. So we thought that we'd be buying land out on the west coast somewhere, because eventually we want to build this tiny house. That's a couple years down the line, but we thought, well, why not just spend five grand on some cheap land? And all the boats that we're looking at are trailerable, so why not spend the money that we were going to spend on yard fees and use it to buy land and just work on the boat out there, refit it. That was the plan and somehow we end up being under contract with a boat that's an hour from my hometown and we haven't seen it yet. So we've bought a boat sight unseen and we're going up to see it and it's in New Jersey. It's meant to be. It's just crazy. Yeah. So. And the previous owner is from England again <laughs> so we are quite excited to get up there but we're gonna take our time and we're going the long route from Florida up to New Jersey we're gonna go through the mountains because we miss the mountains so we're gonna spend a couple days in a cabin probably not gonna bring the camera but we found this $20 cabin on Airbnb that has no running water or electricity and no cell service which all sounds wonderful so we're gonna go and Enjoy the mountains, take Rue, finally get him up on top of some mountains. Take a break from this guy. Take a break from this guy, and we'll see you guys in New Jersey to show you our new boat. I probably will like collapse and not keep to that and show you guys the cabin just because I want to show it. So <laughs> but we'll go for New Jersey. So this is a rough idea of what we were thinking of building. A little bit better than this, hopefully. <laughs> but we were hoping of building something like this out in the mountains, either on the west coast or somewhere. 
and then when we're not using it, we'd be able to use this place uh, to Airbnb it and kind of get some passive income from it. Airbnb is the kind of closest thing we've had to passive income over the years and we've loved it. So the goal with it originally, obviously this isn't the plan now because you'll find out, <laughs> but we wanted to build a very temporary structure like this and stay in this structure while we're refitting the boat. And then once the boat is refit, we trailer it out to wherever we're gonna start again, probably on the east coast of Florida. And then at that point, we would just Airbnb this property. And then every hurricane season, we come back to our property and probably build another structure and keep adding in that passive income and residual income from these structures on Airbnb. You just gave them a hint as well. About what? That we were, can trailer our new boat. I think they know that by now. Why do we want a boat that's trailerable? So we can pick it up and move it anywhere we want. <laughs> it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Yeah. We're not going to be trailing everywhere, but when we do, we'll be using Ryan's family has a few trucks, so we'll be borrowing theirs when we need to. But it is a cool way that possibly we could bypass the Panama Canal and save a lot of money. Just a thought we have. He wants a ranch. All right, on to the second cabin of the trip. The terrain is looking a little bit rough for a Prius. There's rocks littered all throughout there and it's getting dark. There's like an old train station up there but no sign of an Airbnb. So we got to trek back down this. This is actually pretty good terrain here, but there's some rocky spots. I thought I pushed the Prius hard when we were out west, but this is getting borderline stupid. Can't find it? No. I think it's south. I think it's lower than the, the station was. So come on, get back in, let's go. Bree's ready for a fire. So am I. You can come back now. Found it. Yeah. Need new sandals? Prius is going to be a little muddy. Alright, that's fine. As long as we found it. Okay! okay. Alright, time to go to our cabin. And start to see it. Wow. This is going to be pretty freaking awesome. This is truly a log cabin of the sea. We definitely found a diamond in the rough with her. But you have to wait for another Thursday's episode to find out how much we spent on her.